you know, it, it's, it's never too late. I mean, you opened your doors at some point with zero people and nothing going on. Like, hopefully, even if you're thinking about closing, you have five members, 10 members, right? So it's, it's never too late to decide otherwise, so long as, you know, the, the challenge is, Fern, the people that reach out to us like this months ago are the same people that show up at your CrossFit and they're saying, I'll come back in three months when I'm ready. And then your response, my response, what's your plan to be ready? Because, dude, you're 40 years old. You've done right. nothing over the last 40 years to show you're ever going to be healthy without right. the help of someone. Why, why all of a sudden these next three months going to be any different? And this is, and number one, we're, we're not like crapping on this person. Like I, this is a, we are having this with straight empathy. But the point is this conversation needs to be had because this is this is not the first time this has happened. It will not be the last time it happens. And if you are listening to this and you're thinking to yourself, like, I'm kind of in that boat, then don't be that person. Like, figure out a way to make it work. Figure out a way to make the investment in yourself. Figure out a way to come up with a solution because... If in fact it, it has been your sole purpose for existence for years on end, I want you to really think about that time and financial investment. How much money and time and stress and potentially broken relationships were put into that 48 months, probably much longer than that, that probably felt like 10 years to just to give up on that. Now there's definitely a hard a hard time when just when you have to say we're definitely going to cut this thing and 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 get rid of it. But a lot of people can salvage it. The problem is they think they're going to do it on their own. 